Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Soph. On this channel, we talk about all things books. For today's video, I have an Illumicrate unboxing. It is the April box. I know I'm a little bit late, I'm trying. And I'm just gonna get right on into it because I don't need to babble. You've seen these, I do these all the time. So I'm just gonna get right on into it. This is the first time I filmed one in this position, so we'll see how it goes. I didn't upload one last month, I think it was, because by the time I realized that I hadn't edited it, it was literally like the next month and there was no point. This month's theme was nothing but thieves. This cover is very reminiscent of what the actual book is and it's honestly it's a different pick i wouldn't i would not have thought friendly reminder illumicrate do not brand themselves as a fantasy subscription box they just do a lot of fantasy subscription books so just remember that when you see the book because i have already unboxed it i do already know what's in it i'm just unboxing it for you guys but here is the cheat sheet. So the first item is a book pot, which I absolutely love. They come in handy for like bookmarks and stuff. So this one is a gorgeous bright yellow. It says a picture of art history. On the spine it says art history, painting, sculpture, architecture. There. And then on the back it says a glimpse into the, the imagination of our greatest artiste. So I absolutely love these. They look good on your bookcase and they're good, like I said, for storing bookmarks. Or maybe even you could put your tabbies in there because they come on those plastic things. I might do that actually. So that is that one. We then have a paper craft kit designed by Rosie Thorns exclusively for Illumicrate. So from what I gather is this is the picture you create and inside, I'm not going to get it out because they kind of just like pop out everywhere. Um, you follow this guide to lay the bits down and then you will end up creating this like art print, which is quite a fun thing to include. However, I do not have the patience for things like this, so I will probably give it to someone who will enjoy it. Oh, okay piece together one of our favourite scenes from City of Brass. So this is inspired by City of Brass. I have not read this, but I have seen a lot of people talking about it. We then have this stunning art album inspired by Addy LaRue. I've been waiting for them to include something like this because I have so many art prints that I just haven't had anywhere to put. And on the front it says, stories are a way to preserve oneself to be remembered and to forget and it's just stunning it's navy blue it's got this gold embossing which you can only really see if i do that and i absolutely love it so i can't wait to put all my prints into there you could use it as a normal photo album as well i guess next up we have a set of character bookmarks these are inspired by Gilded Wolves. Again, I have not read this book, but the characters in here are actually stunning. Like, look at them. Absolutely stunning. That makes me want to read it. <laughs> I'm such, like, I'm so, I'm such a character orientated reader. If I don't fall in love with the characters, I don't enjoy the book. And I struggle to read books when I don't have, like, if I can't imagine what they look like and there's no artwork that other people have made, then I really struggle to read the book. But those are stunning, and they were designed by Gabriella Bigdoso. We are on the book. Wow, this is a really fast unboxing. I am so sorry. <laughs> but this month's book is Portrait of a Thief by Grace D. Lee. Um, this, like I said, not a fancy book, but Illumicrate do not brand themselves as a fantasy subscription box. So I honestly don't mind. I think it sounds really interesting. I'm not entirely sure what is different from the normal one. I feel like maybe this, like, the way the sunglasses have the sheen on them and the faint pattern in the background of the cover might be new. I'm not sure about this hand. I think it's new, but I'm not entirely sure. I will put a picture here so you can compare. We have yellow sprayed edges, which complement the blue very well. We also have a stunning embossed hardcover. I absolutely love the tiger print. 
I'm not sure what tigers have to do with it because it's also what is very discreetly on the actual cover but I'm sure we will find out. We also have stunning artwork on the reverse of what I'm assuming is like the main crew of people. I love that, it's so good. Such a different art style as well, I love it. And there is the signature down the bottom there. So the blurb just says, history is told by the conquerors. Across the Western world, museums display the spoils of war, of con conquest and of colonialism. Priceless pieces of art looted from other countries kept even now. Will Chen plans to steal them back. A senior at Harvard, Will fits comfortably in his carefully curated roles. A perfect student, an art history major, an artist, a perfect son, the American dream. But when a shadowy corporation reaches out with an impossible and illegal job offer, Will finds himself as something else as well, the leader of a heist to steal back five priceless Chinese sculptures looted from Beijing centuries ago. Sounds so good. His crew is every heist ar archetype one can imagine, or at least the closest he can get. Each has their own complicated relationship with China and the identity they've cultivated as Chinese Americans. But when Will asks, none of them can turn him down. If they succeed, they earn $50 million, a chance and a chance to make history. If they fail, it's not just the loss of everything they've dreamed for themselves, but yet another thwarted attempt to take back what colonialism has stolen. I think that sounds so good. And I remember I read like a bit of the first page and it reminds me of like, a movie like this book could genuinely be turned into a movie and it would work so well because the first page literally it starts off with will's um point of view and it says state your name for the record please this is how things began boston on the cusp of fall the sackler museum robbed of 23 pieces of priceless chinese art even in the museum's back room dust catching the slant of golden late afternoon light will could hear the sirens they sounded like a promise will chan and what were you doing at the Sackler Museum, Mr. Chen? I work here part time. I am a art history student at Harvard. Did you see anything unusual before the theft? No. Describe what you saw during the incident. Any distinguishing features of the thieves? Anything the security cameras might not have caught? It all happened so fast. I looked up from my essay and the alarms were going off. When I ran into the gallery, they were already leaving. I can just imagine that start like that being the start of a movie is it just me maybe i've watched too many like crime movies <laughs> but i can literally imagine that being him in like uh, the interview room things and interrogation rooms and him being asked to state his name for the record and then a voiceover saying this is where it all began blah 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 is it just me I think that sounds like such a good movie. Anyway, I'm not gonna ramble on. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this book and I have quite high hopes for it. It's something different to what Illumicrate have been doing recently and I just feel like I needed something different on my bookcase. So yeah, so my favorite item is probably the art album to be fair because I genuinely needed it. I think it's stunning. It's to do with Adi. I absolutely love that book and yeah it's just gonna be a really pretty way to store all my art prints from the boxes and oh it's rich i am actually genuinely really excited for the book as well so i hope it pops up on my tbr soon but yeah that is everything from the box if you got this box please let me know what your favorite items were if there was anything you liked or didn't like and if you've read the book let me know what your thoughts are because i am very excited to read it if you have got this far into the video please put a tiger emoji to represent the tigers that are kind of all over this book for whatever reason i'm sure we will find out yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did enjoy it please give me a big thumbs up because it really really helps and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video that's it from me today guys bye